ice machine here that's not working very well. Not sure why. I'd say it probably needs clean would be a good indication. So we're gonna have to get this thing cleaned up before we can even tell what's going on, but from first looks here, it looks like there's no water down there, so it's probably not filling correctly. And so we're gonna have to clean that up. <coughs> You're better off just go ahead and tear this thing completely apart and clean it out, because this thing's a wreck. So we're just going to pull the screws out. completely apart and clean it. Just go back there and scrub the living snot out of it. I mean that there, some of this is kind of because they have bad water. It's country water. So, you know, you're going to have calcium, rust, all that stuff growing on it. But, I mean, it's just, it's just bad news bears, man. Just yank the freaking water sensor out because I mean that's just it's not going to sense water when it has that mucus on there I told them they need to move the trash can that, uh, that you see right there because that trash can it's got all that leftover beer in it and that yeast comes out of there and you'll see the same type of thing in restaurants that have a lot of bread rising like uh, sub shops and stuff like that so that's why it's best just to have a ultraviolet light system in here uh, or a bipolar light uh, system that kills the growing organisms now some of this crap it's just not gonna let go I mean that literally that's you gotta literally scrape scrape that to get that out of there so it's it's gonna take a little bit of work. So we're gonna go ahead and scrub away here. All right, so we poured the whole bottle of nickel safe in there. We're just gonna let this stuff soak because this thing's I scrubbed it. That's as good as I can get it even when I scrubbed it. So we've then scrubbed everything we can scrub. And uh, although it looks a little better. You know, these are stain marks. These are these are what this is what happens when you have really bad water. Your water's got to be halfway decent quality to have an ice machine work right. I mean that, that that right there, that brown stuff on the side, literally is etched into it. And I've had machines where I've just said, you know what, I'm, there's nothing more I can do because it's just completely ruined it tends to eat into the material and you just can't get it out. So as a ditch effort here, I'm basically trying to use my fancy utensils here and let this soak. And as it's soaking, kind of go in there and try to see if we can get some of it off. But chances are, it's probably not gonna do any good. So when it's all said and done, we'll probably just run disinfectant through the machine, which we got the IMS3, concentrate, and then just clean it up as best you can. We've got all the other stuff in there. You gotta make sure you don't get this plug in there because if you do, you'll, you'll corrode those when the electricity starts to flow through there. They'll, they'll start to corrode and you'll have problems later. I know firsthand because I got in crap into it before. It just doesn't quite seem potent enough because it's not attacking it as good as what I normally would see. But, you know, there's probably a good three gallons or better in there of water. So we're just gonna let this thing soak for a while, see if we can get it clean. If so, great. If not, it'll be as clean as it can be. At least there won't be no uh, slime on it. All right, there's probably the best trick, just having two bowls so that you can basically raise it up there because usually that lead is a little too short to get down in there. But, uh, we're scrubbing at it as best we can, so yeah, we'll get the loose stuff out of there, but that calcium, it's not going to go nowhere. That's just too long, too late.
Hopefully the pump even works. I have a feeling that's why it wasn't pumping, but hard to say. I'll probably just yank that out or I think I'll get my sprayer and just spray up in there and get it. So even with the scouring pad that I do not recommend you use because it'll put more grooves in the plastic, still can't get it as clean as what I would like to see it. I mean, it's better than what it was. You know, the slime is pretty well gone, but you aren't going to get all that calcium off. You know, that's just the product of bad well water. So that's as good as we can get that. Um, I thought about even running my grinder wheel with the brush wheel on it, but you're just going to put a crap load of more uh, grooves in it, and then that's going to make the water stick to it even more, and it's just going to compound on itself, and it'll be really bad. So we're going to go ahead and get the rest of this thing cleaned out and see how she runs. All right, so I went and picked me up a toothbrush. Figured it works out decent to get right in behind there in that little spot there because my big brushes don't fit. Now granted, I got a medium. About as aggressive as I can get because they really aren't made for ripping your teeth apart but we're getting into those spots but you can see this, this stuff just doesn't want to release it's just etched in there I mean flip the brush over and it just yeah so anyhow we've got most of this about as good as you're gonna get it I'm gonna go ahead and run sanitizer through it and we're gonna see if this thing makes ice I think our biggest problem is mainly just water. Like I said, water sensors are all gummed up and everything else. So, Let's see what we can do with this thing yet. We got it back together. Like I said, this stuff here does not want to come off, but it's clean. Got uh, all down in here, because that's really important to get to, guys. Don't forget these areas down here, because that's where all the stuff hides. Um, we're going to go ahead and run the cleaner through it now, and uh, see if we can get it to pump. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with the pump. That's one of the reasons why a lot of times I don't... Uh, clean at first but this one was in such bad shape but didn't really have a lot of options here so um, making ice I didn't ask for you to make ice I need you to clean so hit the clean button come on let's make some cleaning it's not even wanting to go into clean mode that's nice oh great the keypad's junk that's good so we got a junk keypad Wonderful. This is a common problem with the Manitowocs. For some reason, the keypad goes bad on them, and then, as I said, you can't you can't even scroll down to do the test mode on it and stuff. So it is at least making ice. It's better than most of the time, but the buttons have all given out. All right, so I forgot to put the water sensor in there, so I had to take it back out again. have water coming through so we start over again with the pan in there. Alright so as bad as that water filter looks it's actually holding about 65 pounds of pressure so it uh, water filters okay and I did hear the pump kick on so we'll uh, we're gonna freeze down now see whether or not it circulates the water we're going to have to uh, order the keypad and then when we come back we can run the cleaners, disinfectant stuff through it. So the water pump hasn't came on yet, which probably is our next... Oh, there it goes. It's actually working. Good. Never mind that. Yay! You've got water. So we are uh, going to let this run for a little while, we'll see how it does. It should be okay, I would hope, because the plate was iced up as you seen when we first got here. We're going to let it run for a while, we're going to time it, we'll see what we get out of it. Alright, so it took 18 minutes to go into harvest. I had to adjust my 5 16 uh, adjustment there. Uh, basically, we just went into harvest a moment ago, so I'm starting to 
time that uh, I can't really check my frequency of what the water uh, ripples are putting across. Uh, so you could always go back to default as far as the gap between there, which is 0.21 inches. So I did. a lot of times I'll use a Allen wrench, um, closest one to it, and then put that between the metal and the bottom of the plate of the uh, microphone ice thickness sensor and uh, adjust it off of that. So looks like we're getting ready to drop already at 58 seconds. So we probably are fine on our refrigerant charge. I don't like the way it's coming out that far and not dropping. It's not a good thing. So it's probably all that calcium buildup on the uh, lip of that. And it's just holding it. So unfortunately that's going to cause the ice to melt. stopper I'm gonna flush this pan out here for anything that came loose while we were cleaning it that I couldn't get off of there I did rinse everything out once with the uh, pail of water as you've seen and uh, so I'm gonna take what's in here now and rinse that out and then put it back in all right got that put back into place here we'll start her over one more time I've got the keypad on order so we'll come back and we'll run the cleaner through the actual machine, the disinfectant sanitizing solution through there also when we come back, because right now I can't get that button to work. So um, the drain was plugged up, so I went ahead and nailed that with the uh, my drain gun here, and that blew it all out and ran hot water, like the old plumbers would say, run hot water, that cleans out your pipes. It's as good as you can get for today. So um, that's all good there. We're basically going to run one more batch of ice through here, see how long it takes to make, and then uh, we'll probably take off. If you guys like the video and you want to see more like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, we will catch you on the next one.